as a leader, one of the biggest challenges that you have is motivating your employees. And the reality is that in engagement levels amongst employees are at all time lows. If you're a leader and you're looking to identify new ways to drive motivation within your team, I want to provide you five tips uh, for driving higher levels of motivation. A uh, tip one is to really make sure that the vision and mission of your company is clear. Uh, for your employees to be motivated about the work that they do, they need to understand why their work is important and the difference that it makes in the world. The more clearly that you can articulate why your business exists and the good that it does for society, the more your employees are going to be able to buy in and put their whole mind, heart, and body into the work that they're doing. The second thing that you want to do is really make sure that you're tapping into the employee's values. Now, in order to do this, you have to know your employees, you have to connect with them, you have to understand what they feel is important. But as you explore those things that they feel are important, you can, can connect their values to the work that they do so that they can see that connection about how they can fulfill who they want to be as an individual through their work. The third thing that you need to do is to make sure that your employees have the resources that they need to be successful. Nothing demotivates an employee more than not having the time, money, or support necessary to uh, complete a complex task. By you having conversations with your employees, level setting on the resources that are needed, and providing them those resources, you better position your employees to be successful and to be motivated to complete the task at hand. Next, it's very important that you're monitoring progress. Everyone goes and starts a job with the expectation of being able to do it at a high level. But as you get into doing different tasks, there's, there's a, different obstacles that arise that might not have been predicted. By monitoring the progress, you can identify problems at the earliest time possible and then be able to help your employee navigate and find solutions for overcoming any obstacles or challenges that come their way. Last but not least, you want to make sure that there's room for two-way communication. Many times, employees have problems or concerns that they're just not comfortable with talking to their boss about. By you taking time to invest in the relationship, making sure that they're comfortable coming to you with different challenges or concerns that they have, you create a situation for you to be aware of what they need and be able to support them. In addition, by you setting up that two-way communication, if there's developmental opportunities that you're seeing, you've invested in that relationship so you can be honest and candid with the employee, giving them the feedback that they need, but the employee knowing that you're doing so with their best interest in mind. These are five tips that you can use to improve motivation. If you're looking for additional tips, I encourage you to check out the Learning Center on my website, you can also reach out to me if you'd be interested in setting up a coaching session where you can learn more tips around motivating and engaging employees.